you worked with Jim and Frank. Right. Uh, do you have any specific memories of meeting them or working with them? Um, I always just love the fact that they would remember my name whenever they saw me because I didn't see them like all the time but the few times that they did see me they always would say like you know hi no it's like oh hi no it's like so the fact that they said my name was always that oh you know who I am the sort of like gratification like, yes you know who I am so that was always nice but, like, and meeting them for the first time shaking their hands it was like this electric charge like going through my body plus to being incredibly cool about it because you don't want to like gawk and in front of like you know like shake their hands up like you place them in the chair inside just like oh my god <laughs> so yeah but it definitely was that feeling like oh my god and sure yeah. uh, do you remember who your the first Muppet you performed was yes it was a store clip for Sesame Street and Grover's online for yeah, to get out of the store. Mm -hmm. And I am the store clerk punching in. And I have like one line. And Grover's online, Grover's online. Finally, it's Grover's turn. He comes up to it. My character's supposed to say his line, and I blow it. <laughs> and I say an expletive out of frustration. <laughs> And Grover responds by saying, say what? <laughs> Do you remember what that line was supposed to be? It was supposed to say, sorry, this register's closed. Next register over there, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, at least you got it right this time. Yeah. yeah. So then, as a result, I got a close-up. <laughs> So, nice. That's yeah. the trick. That's the trick, exactly. So. That's nice. Um, and uh, who is your favorite Muppet? Favorite Muppet? Sesame Street, Muppet Show, any any of the Henson creations? Oh, it's like, well, in Sesame Street, it's, uh, I think it's still Snuffy. Mm -hmm. Still my favorite. Mm -hmm. Followed by Oscar and The Count. It's like, yes. I love The Count. It's like, you just, again, Oscar and The Count are just two characters you couldn't possibly create now. <laughs> in terms of just the way they look, let alone. Own their attitudes. On the Muppet Show, it was always like, like you know, Sweetums, uh, and like, yes, the big guys, and going for the big guys. But also like, like, like Statler and Waldorf, like those two guys. And then like on Fraggle Rock, it was the Doozers. I love the Doozers. Not necessarily the Gorge, I just love the Doozers. And they really were that big. Because I once got to go visit Fraggle Rock. And I thought maybe they had scaled up versions that they could manipulate the hands. No, they were always this big. <laughs> And yeah, and I have you know other favorite Muppets like you know, there was one that owns a house once upon a time. I liked him. He was good. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, he's, he's okay. Uh, and uh, you want to take a minute to just tell us again about your book? Yes, it's Ten Minute Puppets. It was um, the idea of my wife. Who said you know how to be a puppeteer? You know how to be a dad? Make a book where kids and their parents, grandparents, caregivers can make puppets really easily, and that's why it's 10 minutes. And there's always a section about, if you have a little more time, you can do a little bit more, and throughout the book there's advice from people in puppet dump, like Jerry Nelson, Frank Oz, and Fran Brill, John Tataglia, and Victor Guerin, and more people who just tell their advice about the magic of puppets, and creating character, and putting on a show. And there are templates in the back, and I've been doing appearances around the country, and cook stories. And Michaels just bought the book, so the spring Michaels going to happen. So if there's a bookstore on Michaels in your neighborhood, give him a call. <laughs> And I'll come to your town. <laughs> really? <laughs>